Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Vlogs. Today is travel day to go where we're going. I've got this movie, but unfortunately we have to say bye-bye to Yam today. Goodbye Yam Puppy, we'll see you next week. But now it's not like it's like 2.30 in the morning, only a few hours sleep. Driving to the airport, dropping the car off, and then we're going to get to the check-in things. So let's get to it. And we've made it into the airport. Very busy. Maybe we've got 10 minutes before we start to board. Let's we'll see if we can just get a little bit relaxed and get some water because hydration is key at this time. But it's only 4:30. Now let's get through security. And we just made it through security. We got here, we checked in. Only 10 minutes to spare before we actually start to board. But smooth process nonetheless. Now, what we do when we get here, what I like to do is go find a water fountain to fill up my bottle and get some meal deals as well. Because remember, food is fuel. And there probably isn't going to be any food in this plane. So three or four meal deals for flight. So let's find some food. looking for a charger for the camera and the traditional walk through Dixons and looking through all the tech might have to go amiss as we go look for a charger and get to the gate and with a little bit of waiting and a little bit of delay we get to go on this plane right here But for the map, a little bit of fuel in that, of course, a bit of a movie. Tips for the plane, try to get up as much as possible so you don't get up at the end of the flight, especially for long flights. And you're very sort of tight and just not wanting to move. And on top of that, keep it hydrated as well. So the meal deals earlier, I ended up with, I've got three bottles of water with me, so that I helped to do. But anything to just get you moving and get a little bit of hydration in. And then you come to the bathroom for a little bit of relaxation while sometimes we can be quite packed. For me, being a tall person and quite large in general, it's quite difficult to find a comfortable position. So I really recommend getting one of those neck things so you can sit and wherever position, wherever position you're sitting in, you can be comfortable. One of the biggest things for me is when I'm sitting, my neck and head is over the seat, so I can't really lean anywhere without being very, very cramped. And then on top of that, the people next to me are encroaching on their space because I'm big. And unfortunately, on this flight, I do have one person on either side, so that is a bit unfortunate. But for now, I'm going to continue the rest of the flight. Do a little bit of stretching as well, that's always important when you do get up. Walking is good, moving around is good. And then on top of that, just a little bit of extra movement, a little bit of stretching. So your calves, your legs, just your hips, if you have space, if you have time, if you want to be looked at a bit strangely, you can do that as well. But I'm going to go back and maybe finish off, I think, one of the movies I was watching. And we will arrive at where I am.
and we have made it to New York City and I couldn't come along and not come to Times Square here in New York City in the middle of Times Square so this is the first time I've been to New York and just kind of sat and watched I've been a few times but it's always been passing through and not able to sort of a lot of people have spoke about New York no one really cares what you're doing you can go and do anything in New York and you're there's just so much going on that nobody really cares and there's so many people around just doing their own thing whether that's getting some photos or Instagram with all the big stuff up here or getting the stuff with a gimbal over there it's pretty sort of well, not freeing but that kind of thing where it's just like everyone's doing their own thing and no one really cares what you're doing so you can get on with whatever you're doing but now I've been walking around for a bit and it's sunny, it's absolutely roasting. I am sweating so much, I had to sit down, relax a bit and get my t-shirt to dry out a little bit. But now we're gonna get some food. We're gonna remember food is fuel and enjoy this so-called freeing -ness of New York City with all the NYPD behind me as well. And look at the just, this just height of these buildings. It's a little bit different to quiet Henley on Thames. But I think we're gonna get some tackles, so let's get them. That is some tacos here just outside of Times Square, which I didn't actually expect to get just right off the road. I was anticipating just some sort of really fast and really not very good. But I mean, I was I thought it was absolutely delicious for some tacos, reasonably priced as well. So head down there if you're ever here in New York and Times Square. But now it is time killed a couple of hours I'm gonna get the key for what I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow and why I'm actually in New York and it is rowing related so we'll see I'll let you know tomorrow when we get to that but that will be it for today's travel episode as we walk back literally that's how far and you might have saw the queue behind me outside for lunch was pretty big as well so we're heading into Times Square once again and heading to where we'll be going for tomorrow but I'll leave you with today's view of a bit of a cliche, but we've got Times Square all you. Obviously, I couldn't come to New York and not come to 368 Broadway right behind me. This is where one of the people, Casey Neistat, has spent a lot of his time inspiring me to start making the videos that I've made. And I spoke about that in the very early beginnings of the vlog. When I was had my surgery, get my tonsils out and all that, I was thinking, what should I do? I was watching a lot of Casey Neistat's vlogs. I was watching a lot of Peter McKinnon's videos and seeing just here, being here, where a lot of massive YouTubers have been, have walked, walked in their footsteps, it's pretty cool. But thank you if you've made it to this part of the video, just a little bit of an extra after exploring Times Square. Now it's time to go do what I was supposed to do and get organized for tomorrow. So unfortunately, a lot of people have been asking, are you here to meet Casey Neistat and start doing stuff with 368? Unfortunately not but it's still awesome to be here. Oh yeah.